Hi, I'm Eddie from GamersFire.com, and this is our list of the top 10 games to play after you've been drinking. If you agree with even just one item on this list, let us know by hitting the like button below. Number 10 is Wolfenstein 3D. An old-fashioned control scheme and faux 3D graphics make for a great drunken experience. Even playing the Steam version of this game, you have to use the mouse to move. Sliding the mouse forward walks forward, but moving it left or right turns left and right. Trying to handle this control scheme sober is hell, but after some chemical disorientation, it becomes hysterically impossible. Honestly, if you make it through the first level while drunk, I'd be impressed. Not to mention it gives an awesome little kick of nostalgia. Number 9 is Dead Space 3. Going co-op through the atmospheric surroundings with jump scares around every corner makes for great drunken bonding. Plus trying to solve the various puzzles, some even in zero gravity, creates some truly hilarious moments. All the fast-paced action, and the tense moments in between, are amplified to a truly memorable experience after only a couple drinks. Just be prepared for a fair amount of screaming from both you and your co-op buddy. Number 8 goes to Bridget. What's better than trying to create structurally solid bridges? Doing it drunk with a friend. You won't believe the creations you'll think of with a little help from alcohol freeing up your thought process. What seems like the best bridge ever in your mind will often end up being a mess of steel and cable. And watching the cars, trains, and boats try to make it by can be hilarious when you've created an absolute Frankenstein monster of a bridge. Our number 7 is Guitar Hero slash Rock Band. Of course these are on our list. They are the ultimate party game. Everyone knows that nothing goes together quite like drinking and karaoke. Now, add in a few more friends doing what is basically the equivalent of air guitaring and drumming, and you've got a serious party. The Guitar Hero and Rock Band series truly allow you to let out your inner rock star. And the lowered inhibitions don't hurt, especially if you end up singing. Number 6 is Duck Game. An awesome frantic indie fighting title where you play as ducks desperately running around trying to pick up whatever absurd weapon you can find and kill each other. This game is confusing and hilarious normally. Just imagine the shenanigans that could come from playing it with a slightly elevated BAC. If you love Super Smash Bros, but don't like to take anything seriously, this is the experience you're looking for. Number 5 goes to Hatiful Boyfriend. Really, any game where you have a fair amount of freedom and conversations works out great after a few drinks. But we chose this one because it's simply so ridiculous to start with. The best way to explain it is as a pigeon dating simulator. The addition of alcohol drives you to choose all the most absurd responses and thoroughly enjoy the ridiculous nature of the situations you'll end up in. In our number 4 slot is Scribblenauts. It's a game where you write in a notebook and create whatever you want. Just take a moment to picture what that's like on a party night. You won't believe the things you'll come up with to ask for, and the only thing more ridiculous is how many of those things the game will actually give you. Shotgun, trebuchet, giraffe, this game has everything. Coming in at number 3 is Super Meat Boy. The perfect balance of tight controls, extreme difficulty, and awesome level design make this one fun and fast-paced game. Adding a little tipsiness and good friends to the mix creates an amazingly fun event of controller passing and screaming at your buddies. Everyone has their own thoughts on how each level should be approached, and they will not be afraid to share those thoughts aggressively as you try to dodge the various traps. Not to mention the amazing sense of accomplishment when you finally beat the level despite your impaired state. Number 2 is Grid 2. Now let's get the public service announcement out of the way. Drinking and driving is bad. Don't do it. But now that that's done, drinking and playing a racing video game is awesome. It might be one of those rare occasions where it's more fun to watch someone play the game than to play it yourself. The realistic physics and controls that make this a great racing game also make it hilarious for a drunk person to try to navigate. Expect to see every rewind used by about halfway through the race, and as usual, lots of yelling. And finally, in the number one spot, we have Grand Theft Auto V. Number one just had to be GTA V. This game is basically one big party anyway. After a few drinks, there's not much that beats getting together with your friends and letting absolute chaos ensue. Go for a drive together and watch as your friends manage to hit just about every obstacle the city has to offer. Get together and hijack a fire truck or an armored car, then start some madness. Or my personal favorite, just start pranking each other. Offer a car to a friend, but hide some C4 on it first, then watch the fireworks. Call as many muggers as the game will let you. Airplanes, supercars, airstrikes, races, deathmatches, co-op missions, and endless ways to screw with your friends make this the ultimate drunk gaming experience. 
That's our list of top 10 games to play after you've been drinking. Please remember to like and subscribe for more lists, let's plays, and gamer comedy. And let us know what you thought of our list by leaving a comment below or heading over to the forums at gamersfire.com under the community tab. See ya.